Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Ooh, we've got the Queen of Cups coming through. So some of you, you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There could be some distorted feminine energy around you or around this person, or someone in this connection is exhibiting that, which can be a bit of neediness, clinginess, um, a penchant for drama that seems really unnecessary, um, feeling not good enough. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Okay. The Seven of Wands. The Magician. Ooh, this person is viewing you as the Justice card in reverse. All right. So that means they're seeing you as a bit detached or indecisive right now, Capricorn. I do feel like they're trying to manifest you. This could be your energy. You could be guarded. All right. What you're not seeing is the Three of Wands. And we see the Two of Wands showing up in reverse. So a decision is going to be made or needs to be made here. The Page of Swords. It looks like you have somebody who's been spying on you, checking you out, trying to manifest you. Um, I'm <laughs> For some of you, they've been doing spell work. I don't, I know a lot of you don't believe in that and that's okay. But I did see like somebody like, I don't know, taking hair from your hairbrush. <laughs> okay. Or like clipping a lock of hair. That's not going to be for all of you. And I don't know why I'm giggling about it. Um, it just came through. Um, the Page of Swords, though, tells me, my Capricorns, you're going to um, be getting some sort of communication here. See, I think this person is going to be like, Capricorn, what do you want from me? <laughs> what are you looking for here? Of course, this could be your energy approaching them. But somebody here has been kind of guarded. I feel like... Um, I love the Seven of Wands. She's probably one of my favorite in all of my decks. She's just powerful. She's strong. I mean, look at how toned she is, but she's also so protected. I um, mean, she's at peace and she's got like, there is energy coming at her, but she's like, not even like, she's like non, she's like not phased by it at all. I just, I love her. I love that energy. Um, strong solar plexus chakra energy. So balanced, feeling strong, a healthy masculine energy. That could be you. It could be them. Um, Seven of Wands is also an energy of, yeah, I do. I want to fight for this. This is something worth fighting for. All right. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. See, somebody's been really disappointed. What I'm feeling, Capricorn, is you have this person in their head with this Libra and energy. This person thinks you don't care. You don't like them, that you're detached, that they're not good enough. You might not even realize this, right? This could be a secret admirer. It could be somebody you're on the outs with. But they could have Virgo or Gemini in their chart, which tells me that most likely they were struggling during this Mercury retrograde in Taurus that we just came through. Um, but I also feel with the Magician card here, they, they're they manifesting you. They have all the tools that they need, but you notice how his head is down. They don't want you to know how stressed they are about you or about this connection. Um, and they're manifesting you. And we've got the Four of Swords. Maybe they've been healing. They could be healing something having to do with their physical health. So from accident, illness, or injury. Um, but it also feels like this person maybe is up-leveling with their finances. Um, they've been holding back for sure. And like I said, I feel like my, my guides keep showing me somebody like clipping some of your hair or like using hair from your hairbrush to maybe attract you or manifest you. But again, that couldn't, that doesn't have to be literal. Okay, it could just be that they're like, you know, um, like they have you on their vision board or something like that, right? Um, and then we see the chariot card. So some of you are dealing with a cancer. Um, this person does want to move things forward when they feel confident, when they feel healed, when they feel ready. They're going to send you a message. And I feel they're going to come in quite hot. They're going to come in strong. They're not going to come in wish-washy. Although, you know, you better believe it, Capricorn. You've had this person kind of nervous and in their feels. I think they're going to come in pretty confidently, though. The Justice card in reverse. Wow. Yeah, this person sees you as an earth angel. This person has the rose-colored glasses on for sure when it comes to you, although they're nervous that they're not good enough or you're going to reject them. They see you as their soulmate, as their two of cups. 
they see you as this lovely Sagittarius energy. So somebody who's like, you know, really large hearted, um, you know, excited, exciting, op exciting, optimistic. Um, also that you're quite straightforward. Yeah. And like Capricorn, for some reason, I feel like you haven't been putting in the effort here. And maybe you told this person, you know, like I'm busy, I have a lot of work to do, or I'm not looking for like anything serious right now, whatever it is, this person has got it bad for you. And they're stressing about this connection because they see you as the person that's for them. They want to heal things with you, but they're worried because I feel, you know, you haven't been as like communicative or open lately with them for whatever reason. Some of you, you're not even realizing it. Okay. <laughs> and, and that's okay. Cause this person is going to come forward and tell you how they're feeling. Um, like I said, maybe Mercury retrograde was tough on this connection, or if it's a newer connection, you know, they were waiting for Mercury retrograde to be over. I do feel this person is quite spiritual and follows astrology. Most likely. Um, three of wands in reverse. Yeah, this person's been spying on you. This connection has been blocked. They've been trying to make a decision, but they are definitely all up in your energy, checking out your social media. Yeah, this person has been protecting their energy, but they've been spying on you. They want to level up here. Um, they want this connection to move forward. So you've got big decisions here, Capricorn. Do you want to move forward with this person or not? Um, we've got the six of pentacles. Spirit's telling me that they might... Be what just what you're looking for it could has potential for a balanced connection and the eight of swords but you do have somebody here who does get really in their head okay and they may kind of hold back because of that I do feel this person has that mercurial energy Virgo Gemini in their chart like it could be like you know obviously it could be sun moon rising or Venus sign but it does lead them to like overthink over analysis and and get a little bit nervous I do see that so they're nervous about what you're going to decide. They're nervous about, you know, telling you how they feel. But I do feel with that chariot card, they're going to come in. They're going to come in and maybe even kind of bluntly, okay, and tell you like, hey, this is how I feel. All right, let's go ahead and see. Clear messages and guidance, please. For my dearest Capricorns. Okay, so we've got Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Ooh, I kind of feel like, you know, there, yeah, trust that, trust that the divine has a hand in all of this. I also feel like, Capricorns, you've probably been on your own for quite some time. This person, I like that Six of Pentacles, could be that person that, you know, takes you off the market or kind of has what you're looking for. Yeah, see, you've been on your own. I feel this person has been too. In silence, peace prevails. This person's been healing. I feel there hasn't been a whole lot of communication between the two of you. And we get in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. I think this connection, I think you're more compatible than you might even realize with this person, Capricorn. I think they're going to surprise you. And, you know, maybe we can fl like flip the energies here. But um, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this person's going to really surprise you that they might have just what you're looking for. Uh, you definitely have what they're looking for. And joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Some of my Capricorns, you've either, either my goodness, <laughs> you've either given up on love or you just kind of assumed like, maybe I'm just going to be single. Maybe I'm just better off single. I think this person's going to really come in and surprise you. Again, they've been in their head about this connection. They've been in their head about you. It could be a secret admirer. It could be somebody you're on the outs with. But Spirit's showing me that there's compatibility here for sure. Let's see what they want to tell you. All right, I'm in a committed relationship. Some of you, maybe it is somebody that's already in another connection. Again, a lot of you are going to be like, yep, nope, thanks. You know, why bother? But for others of you, this person already, like I get like they're in that vision board. They already imagine being in a connection with you. If you're broken up from this person, they still like feel like you're together. They want a committed relationship. So again, not all of you is their third party here. All right, I still feel the pain. So this person has past baggage that they're working through and if you're broken up with them they're still hurting you inspire this person and I can't stop thinking about you yeah they've got it bad for you Capricorn they have got it bad all right let's see what else spirit wants you to know about this connection clear messages and guidance what else does spirit want you to know about this connection please
passion, try something you've never done before. I kind of feel like spirit saying, you know what, Capricorn, if if you feel if you're feeling it, take a leap of faith here. I think also this person, they might be kind of like they they're they're different than how they appear. Like if you kind of thought this person was boring or they were kind of like I don't know, a bit of a prude or something. I'm seeing that they're like a freak in the sheet. So they're going to really surprise you on many different levels. It's not just going to be in that level. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, okay. And someone feels remorse for the way they treated you or not telling you how they felt. I think they're going to change that. And you and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, so maybe that's in the past. If it's now... That's okay. You know, just know this person is going to reach out. They are in their head about you. They're going to try to make it up to you or they're going to come towards you and try to win you over. You may not be on the same page with this person. That's okay. You know, thank you. But next, of course, do it graciously if possible. Um, but I'm also seeing too, some of you feel like you're not compatible with this person and spirits telling you to take a second look. Forever Young, A Song of Youthful Playfulness. See, I think this person probably gets nervous in your presence and they're probably kind of serious. But once you're comfortable or they're comfortable with you, I think you're going to see a totally different side of them. Unexpected Connection. There we go. Opposites attract. So this person might be very different than you and they're going to surprise you in more ways than one. And Loving Words Hold Great Power. Yeah, this person's going to tell you the truth about how they're feeling. But we get the energy of self-love, Capricorn. Ultimately, you decide. I do feel spirit saying, take a look at this person. Take a second look at this person because they, they are going to surprise you. They may not be exactly who you think. All right. Sending you so much love and light, Capricorn. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button. Share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.